We are on the Kasilov River and we're going down to catch some sockeye salmon. Right now we're kind of in the middle of the season and there's a lot of sockeye around. Uh, you know, I like the Ksilaf because it's it's pretty and there's just not as many people as the Kenai. I mean, you've got, when we come out of the lake and it's like that Alaskan experience that you're looking for. As a guy, I just, I'd rather row down to a spot and fish than just motor around. Uh, the way I set them up, I'm using a nine foot fly rod, nine weight or ten weight, um, with just a kind of an eight or nine fly reel. And then I bring my fly line, I, I'll put a little bit of uh, probably two foot of mono below my fly line just so it sinks better in the water once I, I kind of want to go straight to the bottom. And then I, I usually just use a couple of weights, and then I'll use about five or six feet a liter to my fly which is just yarn on a three yacht hook and that's the most important part of it it's got to stay sharp so as soon as it's not sharp I either sharpen it or I get a new one sockeye salmon. That's it. That's it. It's got a green back if you look at it real close. And it's it's uh I don't know they're usually like on the seal up about five, six pounds. A lot of people say that sockeye don't bite, but they'll rip it right out of your hand. So they do bite. It's just not as often as like a silver or a king. <laughs> Uh, my name's Tom Phillips. I've been guiding with Jimmy Jacks for five years now, five seasons. He's a great guy. Tom's a pretty quiet guy, but he's, he's, the thing I like about Tom, he's like, he doesn't talk a lot, but when he says something and he's coaching someone, he, they, they just, you know that like, he said something, so you need to listen, right? Because he's not going to just hang out and, and just start talking. So the other thing Tom's really good at is, uh, you know, like, a, just like what he did, he would go out and just prove that there's fish here, fish here by just pulling one out of the water, like we've seen him do it like three times in a row already. And he's always like gonna, you know, give it a good example. And he's always real attentive. A lot of times with sockeye fishing, uh, people are expecting fish to be a lot further out than they are. Uh, there's a lot of things that can push fish out, uh, but typically they're really tight to the banks. Uh, they're literally two, three feet out from your feet. They don't like uh, deep water. They like to be in the shallows. They're all, they're all packed up, spooling up, swimming straight upstream, right beside your feet. They're probably running five or six feet out. So we flip out past that, let it flow through them, and then as it goes through them, <clears throat> you know, you're looking to feel them stop it. You're ticking along the bottom and then just stops. And then you jerk. That's a big one. What's great about sockeye fishing is usually when they're in, they're in 
pretty thick. You're gonna get a lot of action. It's fun because they, they're powerful. I mean, you're fishing in six, seven knots of river water, so when they hit, like, they start going downstream right away, and so it's super powerful. So we fish sockeye um, pretty much from all the way from mid-June through mid-August. A lot of people say sockeye. I like sockeye or silvers, uh, but there's big differences in like all three. Basically, this has more omega fats than any any other type of salmon, so it's a lot richer in flavor. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot more oils and fats in it. Even uh, in the kegs? Yes. Yep. It's firmer than all three. It goes sockeye, king, silvers. If you press your thumb down into this meat, you'll barely make an indention. Like a king, you'll go a little further. And, uh, Coho or silver, you'll push right. your thumb into. Leave it. Yeah, it's just more tender than the sockeye are, but these are firmer and higher in oil than anything. Yeah, it's really good in a in a cast iron. You really can't screw it up, honestly. The less you do to it, the better. Sometimes, you know, you can put soy sauce and brown sugar in a marinade, but you never want to marinate it for more than like 45 minutes. So just soak up too much and be too strong. Okay. But like same thing with the salt and sugar. It's like one cup of soy sauce to three cups of brown sugar. Mix it in a pan, a saucepan, and then use that as a marinade for like for 30 minutes. And then pop it in a cast iron or pop it on the grill. When it's not sticking to the grill anymore, it's ready to flip. If you go to flip it and it's stuck, it's not done yet. It'll like lift off the grill when it's ready to be flipped. And if you're getting those little white pockets pop up when you're cooking it, it's like you're cooking it too fast. You gotta lower your temperature down. I'm Jimmy Jack and I am a fishing guide, but I also own and operate Jimmy Jack's Alaska Fishing Lodges. We have two lodges in Kenai and we run um, Kenai Kasilaf Rivers for salmon and then we do the saltwater in Seward and the saltwater in Homer. We also have some fly-in trips too that'll, that'll fly across Cook Inlet. And we basically do packages for fishing and lodging and been doing it since 1995. So they can reach us on our website at jimmyjackfishing.com um, and uh, phone number 907-262-5561. That's probably the best ways to reach us. Uh, Facebook you can reach out to but it's just easier if you just call or, or uh, Go to the website, fill out our form.